We're here at Damulileni Secondary School to learn more about the climate change project. They currently have a food garden that is supporting the school's uh, feeding scheme and they've planted some indigenous trees to combat climate change at their school. So we started working with the Damulileni Secondary School last year in April. They attended the five-day climate change education uh, from Lisa for Change course. They then had to come back to their school to actually implement a climate change education project. So what they've done so far, they've set up a food garden, a sustainable food garden with drip irrigation system to save water. They've also gone on to plant uh, a, a variety of indigenous uh, trees around the school, uh, including speckworm and some other varieties. Uh, the project uh, has been here for two years, and um, now we have busy, we have created the Upper Day uh, last year, uh, September, wherein we invited the municipality, Makato municipality, and um, we also invited the community to come and um, participate. Therefore, we enjoy very much when we were also imparting the importance of the role of plants, the role of um, vegetables to our learners and uh, to our uh, community at large. So the food garden is helping uh, feed vulnerable learners in the community. Uh, the food garden is also supporting the school's uh, feeding scheme as well as starting to self-sustain itself so the school is able to actually generate a bit of income through selling their produce. The garden do a lot of things for the local community. It feeds the community and the school and it also helps us financially because there, is, there will be no need for us to buy fruits from other places. We produce it here. The garden is also used for outdoor teaching and learning and to promote uh, climate change education throughout the curriculum. I think it also helps because if we keep on gardening, there will be less deforestation. So deforestation, it damages the environment. So if we keep on planting and learn farming method, we will keep the environment safe or we get involved as learners is that this is where we do our practicals. Say for instance we are given a title to say how climate change is affecting um, our subsistence farming here at school then we use this garden as an example and observe it throughout the weekend section. And we teach them the role of plants regarding climate change and the role of vegetables regarding food uh, security. So the school has formed a KIC community uh, consisting of teachers, learners, uh, the principal as well as the groundsmen who are championing this project. There's plans to upscale the project, uh, establish more partnerships and uh, get the wider school community involved in, within the project. The, the support from the school it was uh, poor, therefore I focus forward on the issue of the project because it is right from my heart. It wasn't simple. It was very much difficult. If I do remember well, uh, last year, at the beginning of um, uh, February, March, it was not even raining. No water that was also moving here. We just came here during Saturday, having a group of um, teachers whom I convinced them. But then we started digging. Uh, the, the holes. Then we go and buy uh, vegetables. We are not having even a single worker, so um, I used to irrigate those vegetables myself together with the kids, especially during break time. I will call those kids to come and fetch water from the tap. Therefore, we irrigate the crop one by one until uh, the bell rings. Then we go back to the class again. And uh, by so doing, will be recalling what we've been teaching uh, during the class. It is important to teach uh, learners about the gardens uh, in order to know how to protect the environment. You can get a lot of vegetables in our garden. We have onions, we have cabbage, we have pumpkin, we have carrots. 
and we have uh, some other traditional green foods. So it's taught me that it maximizes the level of food security and I get to learn my skills and efforts in the garden that I could apply anywhere I go. That's what it has taught me and many more other things. Yeah, thank you VVOB for the Kiki project. Keep on supporting us. Thank you.